hello everyone i once again welcome you all to my youtube channel english by nisa in this video we are going to discuss lady macbeth speech from macbeth act 1 scene 5 written by william shakespeare so in the last video i have explained that macbeth whole play in this video only we are discussing this lady macbeth speech that is act 1 scene 5 so before moving further let us know about the author william shakespeare he was an english playwright means playwriter poet and also actor he is regarded as the greatest writer in the english language and the world's preeminent dramatist he often called england's national poet as well and bard of avon avon is a place where he was born in england he extant works including collaboration of some 39 plays 154 sonnets three long narrative poems and few other verses so in the last video that macbeth play i have already told you this play shows means show highlight the points on the people who run after the fame and how that greedy people and means came to a tragic end so in this story we have main two character that macbeth and lady macbeth so macbeth he is the hero of the story in the beginning he was means he was a brave general and great man who was misled by the three witches prophecy and he dreamed to become a king himself and he king, killed the king duncan means the real king of the scotland and after killing that king he became the king of the scotland and to do so that lady macbeth means his wife she influenced him she forced him to kill the king and to become the king of the scotland afterwards means she suicide or it is a means secret that she suicided or what but she become mad due to remorse that she killed the duncan so that only we learned here that lady macbeth uh, means at the end of the play this play end with a tragedy means this macbeth himself he destroyed his life this lady macbeth and macbeth now let's start this play means this is speech so the speech started with this play means act first and scene five start with the lady macbeth came on the stage alone by holding a letter in her hand so let's start inverness inverness is nothing but it is a room in macbeth's castle means macbeth's palace so as i told you this scene begins with the lady macbeth reading her husband's letter and anticipating his arrival so Macbeth wrote a letter to his beloved wife first he mentioned her name Lady Macbeth and he said that they met me in the day of success. Now here students Macbeth is giving the detail about his meeting with the witches and their prophecies to his wife that they met me in the day of success means Macbeth was victorious he had won the war the war between Scotland and Norway so this Macbeth he had won the war then further he described i have learned a perfect report they have more in them than mortal knowledge now here students the meaning of this mortal knowledge means they have the supernatural knowledge in them so they met me he is introducing the three witches three witches mate with him so that mortal knowledge which is beyond the human knowledge then further he described when i born in desire to question them further they made themselves air so first of all let's learn this what the prophecy they said to this Macbeth means what perfect report he learned uh, by this witches. So the witches said that he shall become the thane of the corridor means chief general or chief central of the area then he will become the king of the Scotland soon after that. So that only he describing when I burn to desire when I burn in desire to question them further they made themselves in air means they disappear before macbeth can ask them any other question so after they disappear will i stood rap in the wonder of it so the student the meaning of this rap is nothing but deep in thought about their prophecy whether whatever they said that comes true or not then came massive from the king this missive is nothing but the messengers from the king who all hailed me thane of Cordor means they announces that and they gave the title to Macbeth that land and wealth of the Thane of Cowder. Before this weird sister saluted me. 
means that only he is describing in the letter to his wife that whatever that we are three system means three which is whatever they said that comes true then refer to me coming on the time means he will become a king also now hail king that shall be this have i thought good to deliver thee my dearest partner or partner of greatness so here macbeth is thinking that he thought that it's good to share this news with you that though might uh, might not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness is promised thee so here he is describing that i thought i should tell you this news so that you could rejoice along with me about the great future awaiting us that though might not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of this means he said that we should not ignore this chance and we should not mean lose the chance to be rejoice what greatness is promise you so here he wants lady macbeth to know what kind of greatness or what great future is awaiting her so now that she is going to be the queen of scotland because the prophecy said that only macbeth is going to be the king of this scotland so anyhow this queen also will be means this lady macbeth she will become the queen lay it to the heart and farewell now this macbeth he is saying that lay it to the heart means make it secret don't share with anyone and he farewell it means he said goodbye to her, his wife here students the letter has end and here this lady macbeth she is holding a letter in her hand and she speak on the stage in soliloquy means she speak with herself glames thou art and cowdo and shall be what thou art promised so here students tho is nothing but that uh, you and this art is nothing but it is a poetic form at the time of shakespeare that are a r e r that you are promised so here she is saying that you are the thain of the pro means claims of cowder and you are going to be the king just like you promised yet i do yet do i fear the thai nature it is too full of the milk of human kindness so the meaning of this full of the milk of human kindness is nothing but this is the characteristic of human being they they are very kind and soft so that only she is fear that this macbeth will never agree to kill them that king duncan because he is very kind to catch the nearest way though would this be great art not without ambition but without the illness should attend it so here she is very about that whether or not you have what it takes to seize means whether you will take this opportunity or you will lose it because macbeth is full of kindness which is the quality of human being so she is saying that catch the nearest way means to take the easiest way or to take the shortcut to achieve our goal to achieve our dream so she is saying art no without ambition but uh, without the illness should attend it means we should means we cannot attain that thing without the cruelty in us means we should become the cruel to achieve our goal what do would this highly that do would this holily so the meaning of this that wouldest highly that do would this holily means you want to become a king but in a right way means you don't want to do any wrong thing here so because whatever macbeth wants in life he wants in a right way means following the codes of morality and he did not play false so that only he is saying that you don't want to play any false and yet would wrongly win means you don't want to cheat you don't want to means play false here but yet you want to get the thing that doesn't belong to you means there is something you want but you are afraid to do what you need to do to get it then if you don't do anything the wishes should be undone means if you wouldn't play false and yet wouldn't wrongly if you do you should not do any wrong thing to get the wish that wishes should be undone so here she is saying that you already a king because as said by the prophecy means the three witches means he is already king according to the witches now he has to means do some work to achieve that thing means motivating him 
No further she speaks with herself he he to means he thi he to that i may pour my spirits in thin thin eo So the meaning of this hi thi he to is nothing but come fast So here she is addressing to Macbeth and she is saying that come fast so i can pursue you and talk to you means whatever keeping you from uh, getting this or going after the crown and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden drown which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have the crown with all so that only she is saying come pass so that i will means i could give you my advice and i will remove all the tender and softness and kindness whatever you have in your heart with the valor of my tongue means with my tongue sharpness and i will remove or destroy all the obstacles which are holding you from to achieve your golden crown because the metaphysicals here metaphysicals nothing but the supernatural powers who gave the prediction that you will become a king that i went to make it true this all things lady macbeth speaking alone in the estate to herself means on the estate to herself now on the stage one messenger entered and he interrupted the, this lady macbeth and he said the arrival of the king duncan the king of scotland that person only whose murder planning she is doing here that the king duncan is visiting to macbeth castle to spend a night as a guest now she is she is saying that the raven himself is horse that crocks the fatal interest of duncan under my battlements now raven students you know that is a black bird which consider as a bad omen so here she is saying means she is comparing or giving a metaphor to that messenger with uh, this raven so the messenger like an omni omnius raven announces duncan's entrance into my fortress means my battlements so now here she knew that the king duncan is going to come under her battlement means her castle So here, why they have used the word battlement means because this under your power, because this is a how means palace of this lady Macbeth. That's why battlement, which means under her power. Now come you express that ten or mortal thoughts and sex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top, full of direst cruelty. So here, student, this unsex is nothing but it is the characteristic of female that uh, they are very soft. So she want to remove my feminine nature of softness. That only unsex to remove feminine character or nature, and fill me and filled me cruelty. Means she is asking with the supernatural powers here that remove the qualities that means. that qualities which are associated with the woman that like gentleness compassion and pity kindness and softness instead that grant me the qualities that are conventionally associate with males like specifically strength violence so that she doesn't hesitate when the opportunity to murder duncan present itself to her so here she is requesting the invisible evil spirits that she say them to change her feminine nature means her softness and she want them to fill her heart from the top full of direst cruelty because it is a very cruel act to kill someone so she wanted to remove her feminine nature so that she would never hesitate to kill the duncan so students this is all about the speech which is which is by this lady macbeth from the macbeth's play After this, what will happen? I have already explained in the play Macbeth. You can watch that video. The link I am providing under the description box of this video. Whatever is there in your syllabus, this much only. The story, the play is end here only. When she is requesting with the spirits to change her feminine nature. So this is all about this Lady Macbeth speech from Macbeth, Act One, Scene Five. I hope it would be helpful for you. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.